Hello, uh, my name is Paul James uh, from PaulJamesDesign.com. Uh, thought I'd do something a bit different this time, uh, which is to show you one of my latest paintings. Uh, this is uh, probably finished, although I'm not entirely sure whether I finished it. Yeah. Uh, this is fairly large, it's about 180 by I think 120 uh, centimeters. Uh, it's acrylic on canvas. Um, I picked up a load of canvases from my neighbor recently. Uh, they donated, uh, donated six canvases to me all of this size, so I've uh, painted over them and uh, done my own stuff on top. Uh, so this is one of the more colorful pieces that I've done recently. I don't normally paint uh, with such colors. Uh, I quite like it so far. I like the way it's going. Uh, I'm gonna think about it and decide whether I've finished it. I think I have. Um, <clears throat> but I just want to explain why I was uh, doing something in so much color. Normally, if you look through my website, a lot of my, a lot of my paintings are quite dark. Um, they're quite monochrome. Uh, they don't really have a huge amount of colouring. There is uh, just this one, uh, this one over there, which I might show you in another uh, video. Uh, but these, these, these are very colourful too. Actually, I started them um, about two weeks ago, I think. And uh, it's been a long time. I, it's a, been a long time since I've actually uh, done um, anything very spontaneous, uh, not really planned, although for this one I know the look that I'm looking for wanting, I know that I want this tripping effect, I know that I want, you know, I want multiple colours. Why did I want to do multiple colours this time? Well, because I was quite happy, and uh, I was quite happy for the first time uh, for a long time, uh, to be honest, because I, like I've mentioned earlier, I, I left my job. That's been about four months ago, and um, since then, um, without a regular income, you know, things are a bit more tough. And I found a number of uh, uh, events that kind of uh, made me feel happier about the situation that I was in. So even though I don't have, you know, I don't have a regular income anymore, I'm uh, much happier because my time can be spent you know, more or less how I want to uh, spend it. So now I can start cooking again, and I can cook my own food again, because uh, I, you know, I have the time to do that, and go buy vegetables and, and, and stuff like that. I'm much freer. I don't have so much money, but I'm much freer, and I have much more time to decide what I want to do, and, uh, and uh, you know, where I want to go in my life. Uh, so, yeah, so I decided to start painting in the character canvas. The other thing that happened was, I had, uh, had coffee, I do a lot of coffee and beer with different people, I had coffee with uh, a guy called Calvin, and uh, he's a friend of mine, he's more of a conceptual artist, and more of a writer, though he won't, he, he won't really, he won't necessarily like that, but uh, yeah, he's more of a conceptual artist, he's uh, a very minimalist kind of guy. His his artwork is normally uh, a very minimal uh, visual thing, but the story behind it, um, which is why he calls himself a writer rather than a visual artist, I suppose. Uh, the story behind it is what really uh, gets to me. And we were talking, we we're um, talking about uh, doing uh, some installation pieces at some upcoming events in, in Singapore, and. The idea that me and him uh, can just sit down, we're both, uh, we're both quite introverted, we both don't really talk that much, but together we can talk for two or three hours and uh, we can plan things and bounce ideas off each other and it's very, very nice uh, to be able to do that. I've not been able to do that really in Singapore for a very long time since I arrived here, I've not really found anybody where I can just uh, sit and bounce ideas off like that. So um, before that, when I before when I came to Singapore, I actually was hanging with uh, a lot of Yugoslavian friends, and my Yugoslavian friends 
Um, coming from Yugoslavia, well, I don't know whether it's cultural or not, but they were very, um, they were very uh, culture based. We could sit, we could talk, we could talk about anything for hours on end. We would, we would, uh, one of us would be a, a reader, you know, one of us would be a writer, one of us would be a photographer. Uh, another friend of ours was, uh, she was a drama major. Uh, she's gone on to be like a, a, a dramaturge and a director for some pretty famous, uh, pretty famous stuff. I was always the painter guy. And we always used to get together on a Saturday, drink coffee, as usual. And we would sit and we would talk for hours bouncing ideas off each other. And since I left England, I've not, never really found anything like that before. So, yeah. So after a lot of dark painting uh, during my time in Singapore, I've and having quit my job, I kind of found uh, people around me that I can uh, bounce ideas off and, and find my own way in life uh, with uh, a certain amount of freedom, not much money, but a certain amount of freedom, and a lot of time to do whatever I want. So yeah, that's why I'm happy.